everyone and I'm back once again with Mix Daily Training. Let's go! Okay. Let's go. Let's turn up my volume. Vallejo is playing. Cool. Crazy. No, it's hard, okay. Kaisa X again. Oh, that's a really entertaining game. Woo! Woohoo! Oh no, please play King of Six. Okay, Six. King of Five. Okay, Five. King of Six. Okay, that is going to be fun, you know? I'm going to play this until they probably. Uh, the engine crashes. Now they the legit playing Rook v Rook. This engines nowadays. <laughs> oh, Ruby 2. I thought it's a blunder. I thought King C3 would win. Ah, but still, Ruby 2 would be okay. <laughs> Careful, don't blunder me, hate. Yeah, that's so fun. Let's go. Anyone has any idea who will win? I don't know, it looks like a really, really close fight between the Kualat bot engine and Kaisa X. It looks so, so interesting. It looks like both have chances. They are attacking, they are defending, they are doing like multitask at the same time. It's so fun watching them, but I have to play the game. Plains, ha ha ha, yes, ha ha ha! <laughs> Okay, that made me laugh. Good luck. And this super, super entertaining game is drone! No! Oh, have fun! Yeah, I think I will. Your nickname already made me fun. <laughs> made me laugh, so I will have fun. Okay, d5. Ah, that's such a shame that this super... Is he playing hippo? Oy, oy, oy. What is he playing? Oh, dear. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Something, but you don't know what. Rook B1. Yes, he wants hippo. Well, I'll play A5 and then he won't have his hippo. <laughs> Maybe that was just a <laughs> off. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he didn't want hippo. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess he'll play A3, B3, B2, uh, uh, Rook G1. Okay, no, he castle. Okay, okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, I, sorry, I didn't mean to say his nickname. <laughs> yeah. uh, do I go B5? Do I make him smile? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll do... Uh, this and then I'll do that or that. I don't know. But Ruby 6 looks like a terrible move to be fair. I mean, yes, I have four, so it's pretty bad, I guess, but I gotta try. I didn't say anything better to be fair. Okay, okay. He, I have a target to target. I love the, I love saying I have target to target because it's so many targets. Um, what did I actually play? <sighs> Stay hydrated. <laughs> okay, B five. You know, let's have fun. Bam, boom, bam. No, he doesn't let me have fun. Well, maybe I have 95 and I'll win a pawn. I'll have even more fun. <laughs> um. Uh -huh. ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. I mean, if knight e5 would be like knight f4, and then d takes c, knight e6, f takes c, d takes. So I'm gonna take. Okay. Let's see. Da 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 da
Yeah, why well, I'm having so much fun? Because he literally said, have fun to me. So you should have fun, you know? He said it works here. <laughs> B5 looks interesting to try at least. B5, bishop 6, b takes c, d takes c. And I go like bishop h3 or something. And then I really go for it. Yes! Let's go. I'm not sure, maybe it doesn't work, but it looks fun. And he said have fun. So you should have fun. Come on. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I have to do something to have fun. Yeah, he of course takes. I'm taking back. Uh, then I'll probably take a minute hopefully less because I need time for the rest of the game as well uh, to think what uh, to do with my position uh-huh if he'll take no he doesn't because he's rude mm -hmm. it doesn't want me to have fun it's unbelievable so unbelievable <sighs> he doesn't want me to. He literally said have fun and he doesn't let me have fun. I don't understand this people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I think queen c8. And basically top deck and then this rook d8 trying to get d3 on. And if bishop g2, rook d8 anyways. Okay, it took and rook fd8. The idea. And then like c, d, c, 4, knight, d4, take b2, win the game. This d4, I can take, take, and then do something, I guess. And I probably don't want to take, so let's play rook d8, still maintaining the tension in b2, and we'll see. It's fun. I love that my opponents wish me to have fun, because I will. Basically, when they say have fun, I <laughs> have, like, most fun <laughs> I had. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, isn't it how it works? <laughs> uh. Yeah, D4, of course. Of course. Uh. What if I do this, for example? Pressure sure has to do this, 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 e5 idea that, and then this I just take, and then that I just uh, this. Else, we're gonna fight. I mean, have fun is have fun all the way. Maybe I can play e5 without e cd actually. That would be maybe even nastier. I don't know, I'll think about that. Maybe it won't be, I don't know. And sure about queen f5 though. Looks interesting. And he said have fun. <laughs> I have to have fun. Yeah, what's the thinking? E4? Maybe? E. Interesting. E4, knight e4, g4. Well, no, he played bishop d2. So he gives me the pawn so I can have fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> Does he though? I mean, I'm gonna take it, so I don't care. I mean, a free pawn is a... Well, a free bishop is a free bishop. I'll have lots of fun with that bishop. Thank you. Yeah, he missed 25, I guess. Okay, yeah, they'll have lots of fun. <laughs> and Audrey, ha ha ha. Yes, ha ha ha. Good game, thank you. He's from, I don't know. Okay, that was pretty good game, I think. I had lots of fun. That's what matters. Thank you for wishing to have fun. Yeah, I mean, I probably would have played safer because, I mean, when you said have fun, you should have fun. Even if you open it, when you open and wish you to have fun, you must play something fun. <laughs> yeah, but good game. It was pretty interesting, I think. Yeah, it was maybe better, but yeah, he just blundered the bishop in one move. Uh... Now that's wrong. Oh, it is correct. Ooh, let me have some more fun. The fun isn't over yet, guys. Yeah. Yes, I solved this puzzle. I have fun. A plus sixteen. That's lots of fun. I love to have fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, rook g five, e g. That's me. But he has bishop g five. That's me also. Yeah, 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 I love 
to have lots of fun A playing chess, it's so nice I love puzzles and playing live open hands It's so much fun, yeah, 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 yeah So much fun So much fun When you solve puzzles correctly And when you see them quickly <laughs> Now I need to think for a little bit at least I mean, already so for a little bit, so a little, a little bit. You play well. Ah, nice. Talkfish 15.1 crashed. Yeah, that's lots of fun. MP5 looks interesting. But I don't know if it works, so. I need to do something where I'll have fun. 96? Possibly? Ooh, I don't know. It's looking like a lot of fun to me. But I'm not sure if it's good. Oopsie, PC. Sorry. Ah, A laptop. Sorry. Brrr. I don't know. I don't see. Okay, let's do a one, one. Okay, let's count to five. Okay, I'll close my eyes. No, wait. <laughs> what will I see first? Five or six? Six. I'm going 96. <laughs> okay. Um, now, F takes E or Bishop. No, I think Bishop H5. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> so I just made some goofy thing. Basically, which number I'll see first? 6 or 5? I'll make that move because I wasn't sure. And I saw 6 and it was 96. Well, that's lots of fun. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not how you usually solve puzzles. I just wasn't sure, so. Yeah, don't, don't, do, don't, don't solve puzzles like this. It's just some exceptions. <laughs> yeah. Yes! I love random. <laughs> random is so cool. I love when it's not uh, random as well, but random is so cool. I mean, I just like which number check. Wow, well, analysis that is in it. Ah, perfect. It doesn't. Oh, whatever. Oh, it looks like some queen sacrifices, like queen a7 or something. That looks real nasty. Boom. No, I was on queen c5. It was queen a oh queen a6 what a move what a magnificent move because after queen c5 finally Lafayette queen c5 rook d8 and he has queen of eight and he survives this oh dear what is this should I draw that or should I win it I don't know I mean, it's some goofy, I see some goofy stuff already. I mean, maybe it's cellmate, but I don't know how. So I technically need something to block my G4, for example, and that he has his screen there. If it's a cellmate, maybe I need to win somewhere, somehow, maybe. I don't know. Do 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 And I'm actually he's ready in mating one. So I have to be Oh I found something magnificent and I sack like everything in my pawn! Like literally the only pawn almost can move and it's um oh wait I had this puzzle. Well, that was easy. Yeah, this puzzle like four times already, you alright? Oh, uh, maybe mm, less. Ma I mean, Bishop F7 looks so beautiful. I cannot not do it. Yeah, it is correct. Do I take C4? Or oh, no? What do I go Knight G6? <gasps> Knight G6. Look at this. And then H6, G, F6. Uh, definitely. Definitely. Yes. And now, Queen H6. G takes. Yo, that was so beautiful. Knight G6. Oh, I love puzzles when I solve them correctly. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, it looks like some sacks may be involved. 
So rook h3. Yay! I love puzzles. Yeah, queen e2, queen f3 worked as well. I wasn't sure what was correct. Which is queen a2. Ooh, no, it isn't. Fair enough, I guess. Uh, what else can it be? Can be a B though. Maybe it's some B. I don't know. Um, I mean, funny enough, I had queen d7. But if I would have one more piece, it would be good. But as I don't, I had A going for that. But no, it wasn't Bishop. I was rookie two, right? Yeah, rookie two would have been so cold. Shame I missed it, but okay. I had the right idea. Always, I always say it when I fail a puzzle. <laughs> I had the right idea though. Come on, I mean the right idea. It's really nice. Okay, bishop d6. Bishop sack. Yes. Then I get a whole rook for it. Nice. <coughs> oh. Okay. I I know this puzzle is like rook f5, but maybe I need to play like some move first because if b f5, rook f5, b f5, f8, he has bishop c2. That's pretty bad because he has rook f8 and rook c8, rook c7, he wins all of my pawns. I I I had this puzzle. Is there any... Hmm. I mean, king 2 is interesting. The only issue is that he has rook f7. Yeah. I can just play rook d8, which doesn't work for sure. It's like rook d4, rook f4 work? No. Rook d3 though. Rook d3 on the other end is magnificent. Look at this brilliance! Woo! And then he cannot stop f8! Look at this! And if he goes bishop g4, he goes king d3 f8, and rook f3 I take, and as well as f8! Wow! That was magnificent! So 10 correct, and then just 2 failed! That's really nice! Keep in mind that like last 2-3 days I had so many failed puzzles, and now I have just 2 failed! Let's go! So the game analyzed as well, nice! So 5 nil one for him and 2 nil nil for me. So yeah, e3 was already a weird move. I'd go for like knight of 3 and play normal chess. Because this year he tried hippo, but when he wished me have fun, I decided to have fun. So first I played like a5 with the idea if b3 I can play like a4 so I would mess up his hippo. He had to go for dc and here to go for knight d2, then knight d5 and then I'm not sure actually knight f4. Yeah, knight f4 and he would have, he would have been alright. This is knight 6 and actually he had to go for bishop g2. And then give me that pawn, but he would have a5 pawn. And we got something similar in the game. Here is c3. Ooh! Oh, that's so beautiful. Wow, look at this. And then queen a2. And he cannot take with the queen his rook falls. And if he can take with the pawn, his queen falls. So he has to do this. And I play something like that. And then, and then I play rook b3. It's so nasty. And then I play like e6. Domination. Wow! Yeah, c3 would have been so nice. I had to go for bishop d2, and I again had to go for c3, and then queen b3, trade queens, and I would be a pawn up, and I would be winning, basically. And bishop b5 was a bunny, I had to go for e takes d, then I would take this a4, I would be a pawn up, maybe knight d5 for rook b5, knight d5 is better, but okay. Queen b1 is actually a really nice move. And rook d2, and rook b2, and knight d7. Wow! So you sacrifice a queen for a rook? A bishop and a pawn, and my threat is this and an attack after. That would have been so nice. But he just hung a bishop in one move, and after queen a5, he gave up. Good game, turn game. Ha ha ha. Yes, ha ha. Ha. Um, let's go to chess base and let's analyze the game. And let's stay hydrated. Open chess base. I somehow magically didn't click it while I clicked it. Okay. So it was a0, it's like the star of the, wait, it's echo, yeah, it's ecosystem, basically, it's uh, like g3, knight f3, this stuff is like the, I think the first move ever appeared, like, I don't know, I mean, this golden system is a little hard to remember everything, but, you know, d5, this, that was already an inaccuracy, not many people, I think, played it, did they? I mean, yeah, it's actually not so popular position to play d3, but still, uh, yeah, e3. It was just like five games in the whole life of chess here. So it's technically no idea. I guess he want to go for hippo. This and that, I mean, that's that c4 that would be just equal. Yeah. And bishop g7, this, this. 
that I played c5, I just tried to be aggressive. This and then a5 is actually like the best on move. Pretty cool. <laughs> this and then b5, yeah, that was the next thing. I didn't like the move. B5 would have been so nice. So I technically like if he goes for b3 and I have Pomar of lunch, and if we go c4, I take, take, and then play a4 or b8. And basically take, take this, this. And then that, and then it would be slightly better. Pawn fall, the hang is where it doesn't really fall, so it's nice, but it's really cool position. This, rook b8, this, that was an extra, yeah, I think he had to be like a bit more, yeah, he probably had to finish the hip ball because if it wasn't really an idea now. And after a b3, queen c8, then play knight f4, and then this, don't take, because h she falls, this, and then that would be pretty much equal. You can get this position when you play like, Wait, let me show you. You get similar position if you play knight f3, d5, c4, and then you got... There is b4 an interesting line, so you play like Banco with white, and basically you get something like that as well, like a3... Basically white is trying to play Banco slash Benoni, uh, but they are white, they have extra tempo, and it's pretty much interesting position, like a5, something like this. And then... White can play like e4, something like this. It's really interesting. We got the, the save it. Uh, this, yeah, oopsie. Yeah, so we got something similar. Uh, oops. So d6 was a nice move for me. Yeah, that was another mistake actually. He had to go for d c. And yeah, again, play it safe. Oh, g5, a really great move. It's interesting idea. So idea is like queen d7, so he doesn't have uh, knight to oops, knight to f4 because this pawn protects and h4 and f4, so it's really a nice idea. And then, oops, I didn't mean to make this an x, it's an interesting move actually. And then I would be slightly better. Um, so b5, a really great move, I'm kinda proud that I found it, this. And basically if he takes c4, that's basically lost, isn't it? Yeah, I just can take f3, I can do whatever I want. Uh, c4, yeah, I can take like queen c8, bishop c4, bishop h3, then he does this, and then after rook b6, wow, I'm winning, that's so magnificent, and if he goes queen d8, then this, 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 knight d7, he just doesn't have development, his pieces are so bad, and then I'm winning as well, really nice, so yeah, he had to go for knight f4, um, well, yeah, it's the only move, uh, queen c c8 was actually a mistake for me I had to go for queen d6 b sharp basically if you would go knight d6 like in the game it would be alright but if he goes this then there's this beautiful c string and I'm better really nice idea knight d6 was a mistake back from him he just had to return his bishop to h3 uh, to protect h3 so bishop d2 this this and yeah that's what he, he kind of got in the game uh, but my queen was an f5 pawn and c4 and then basically his bishop fall and then um, I'm still better, but it will be alright. So, queen e6, this, rook, uh, okay, yeah, that's a mistake. Uh, that's a mistake from him, actually. He had to go for bishop f3. So, after c3, what is there? Then I have this, this, and he has this beautiful bishop d1, just in time. And that, he has b3, really nice move. And his compensation. Yeah, I mean, I'm better. Slightly better, but it's really nice position for him. He has two bishops, maybe I have more space, but it's alright for him. Rook of was a mistake back for me, I had to play this brilliant c3, I mark this, with two explanation marks, and then this, this, rook of c8, bishop of c8, a4, and now when he brings the bishop, I have rook b3. Really great move as well, so you cannot play b3 now, and I'm just winning. <laughs> yeah, really nasty. It's this These pieces for him are just like all passive and my pieces are really great and my pieces yeah are really great i need to find out how to make green and uh, red colors so d4 was another mistake from him he had to go for bishop d2 because once again uh, queen f5 was the same mistake for me i think uh yeah i had this beautiful c3 and now i play queen to b3 and then betrayed and then after bishop 6 he takes d i'm this, this, and then bam, boom, and then I'm so, so winning, it's actually magnificent, and I'm winning. And bishop d2, that, that, and that was just a blunder, he had to go for like, queen c1 or something, and then d takes e, bishop e3, rook b c8, rook d1, rook d1, queen d1, and that would be compensation, but after, uh, bishop f5, he just hung his bishop, and then I took it, and I wanted him, ha ha ha, yes, ha ha ha, ha, ha ha ha, yes, ha ha ha.
Yeah, there you go. It's funny. Nickname. So it made me smile and he wished me have fun. So I had some fun during this. I had a lot of fun actually during this game. Is it two for one? Right? Or is it two for two? Yeah, it's two for one. Cool. Yeah. Maybe I could have played more precise with C3. But I played it very well as well. I think human. C3 would have been so much magnificent. Like, he's basically in a Zugzwang. And he cannot go away from it. So it would have been so, so nice if I would play C3 twice. But I didn't play it. They got another brilliant position where I was totally winning. I mean, I wasn't like totally winning like I would be in C3 variation. But he missed uh, the draw instead. I mean... He just won the bishop in one move. Okay, let's play against Komodo. Knight f3. So I start the game off with knight f3, then d4, and then we get into either Catalan or into Slav. Okay, he decided to play Slav. He's probably going for bishop g4. No. Okay, I'll play knight bd2. So then I can take c4 with my knight. And prevent Merano attack, I guess. This castle I will play e4. And then if he takes, 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 and play e5, I do this, and then takes, 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 I play bishop h7, I queen h5, and I win a pawn. So he probably, of course, won't go for it. But, wow, he goes, ah, uh, okay, that's interesting, I had this. It's like, is this a real OTB game? I got a winner? But I didn't realize it. I think c takes c is a nice move. And e takes d, and then knight to c4. I'm pretty sure it's equal after knight c5 or something. He plays bishop c5 though. All right. I had this game, you know, I had this position. I think even like bishop c7 or something. No, not bishop c7. But he went somewhere. It was like plus two, plus three, but I didn't realize the advantage. Um, rook e1 is really interesting, to be fair. Because d4 pawn is technically a weak. I can just do this, this actually. I think I will. And then just put my bishop on h4, if he plays h6. And then I technically have not much to worry about. Aha, uh -huh, he goes b5. Oh, wow. Well, why didn't my PC go into racing mode? It's going to, like, fly. <laughs> no, I mean, it won't, of course, but it will sound like it's like a plane which is just getting ready. What is this? Huh? Okay. So, b5, yeah, nice move from him. Uh, I can just go back knight cd2 and then like this or this and get that pawn and relax. Or I can play knight e5, but I'm not so sure about the position I get after queen d5. And then pretty much if takes, takes, oopsie. If he takes, takes. I mean, yes, exposed skin. Okay, PC was alright, it didn't expose. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> um, this, this, right. I have like queen of three, but then takes, takes, and he has a, he's a pawn up. Sh I shouldn't be worse, but I'm not sure if I'm better. So I think I'll just go back. Let's see. Okay, go goes queen to b6, so I guess he wants to eat my pawn. Yeah, I see what's your... I think I'll play knight b3, and if he takes, I'll take on d4. If he takes twice, I wish h7. So I think this is a really interesting move uh, to play, and I think I can do knight c5. I can play bishop e4 as well. Let's keep that in mind. Um, and I can just go knight d4 with the idea of taking on b5. Uh, I actually think I'm going to take with the idea on b5. Basically, if he takes, 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 I have bishop a7 and queen d4. So that's nice. All right, let's see. Bishop a6. So he protected his pawn. Now it isn't threatened, it isn't hanging. But it's, in my opinion, kind of questionable move. I mean, yeah. Oh, thank you for interesting opening theory. It's technically, in my opinion, a questionable move. Bishop on a6 isn't that great. Uh, I'm thinking about playing a4, and if b4, play like a5. And if bishop a b a, I take on a6, and then play rook a4, and play like knight f5, and then start my attack. Let's play a4 and see what will happen. I think taking is somewhat needed. Yeah, let's try. And now rook a4, I think. And then knight f5, I'll try to attack if he'll go, yeah. But he, of course, goes queen g6, because you better be safe than sorry, <laughs> in chess especially, but in life also. Um, I think knight b3 is an interesting move. 
So I attend the bishop and the knight. And if I do this, I'll have like two bishop, or a bishop and a knight versus two knights. So it's definitely interesting. And I think I'll go for it because knight b6, I can do knight c5, knight a4, knight d7, and win it. And if he goes knight c5 back, I don't know, f rook d4 should be all right. So let's play knight to b3 and knight f4 is the idea because I just, I just take the rook, the bishop, the knight. <laughs> okay, I think knight c5. And knight f4 and move right and winning I guess actually so of course he goes to knight to, he plays knight to c5 and now rook d4 just so I have the d file uh, of course bishop b7 was the idea but he came and crushed my dreams well not yet <laughs> well but it technically did crush my dreams of playing bishop b7 just now just now I can do it in the future maybe if you'll allow me <laughs> yeah I think b4 is a nice move, to be fair. And then b4, like, rook d6, maybe, possibly. Uh, or I can play, like, bishop g3. Just so no mate ideas. And if, I mean, bishop g6 is a threat. Yeah, I think bishop g3 is the alright move to play. Maybe it's not the most sharp and the best, but it looks fine. A uh, knight e6, then I'll probably play, like, rook d6. Yeah. Yeah, rook c8, okay. I thought you'd play rook d8, but rook c8 looks good as well to me. And I think I'll play a knight d4 with the idea of knight e6 and then making his pawn structure a little shaky. Uh, if he takes knight d4, I win his queen. And if he goes knight c4, I think I can take on e6. And if takes c, I play rook a6. If takes d6, I take f8. So let's go knight d4. Looks interesting. Okay, this. So he calculated that knight e6. Here, this uh, well, knight d6 has to take otherwise rook d8. So he takes, I take queen d6, and then queen e6, and that should be equal. Um, what else do I have? I think I have something like knight, c, knight to c6. We, if he plays rook c6, I guess I take and we have to play this. But if it would go for rook d6, I have that with the threat of. Oh, wait, I'll play knight e7 first, and then queen d6, and then knight g6, knight c8 idea. But a really unpleasant, well, not super unpleasant, not really unpleasant, but it's kind of unpleasant move is rook to c6, as I already said. Because uh, if I take, he takes d1, and if I take, he takes, takes, and that's equal position. I mean, queen e7 is the move I have, but then he has like a5, and that should be alright. So, I guess I have to choose whether I go to to an end game where he has pawn on e6 or to go where an end game where he has good pawns. I think I'll go to an end game where he has pawn on e6 because I can technically exploit it. It's a weakness and yeah, I'll take with the queen. Uh-huh. And I'll take the queen with my queen. And then I'm going to play h3 so I can t try to get his a7 pawn. It's not on a7 anymore actually. I'll play rook a1 trying to get a5 pawn. Uh, it's not on a5 anymore <laughs> again. Um, so also bishop d4 with the idea, uh, bishop b5 with the idea of bishop d4. And it again prevents my idea. <laughs> yeah, that's how you play chess. You just prevent your opponent ideas. Perfect. Um, oof. I guess this is still equalizing. Yeah, maybe I'll play rook a3. Well, I have to be careful so I don't blunder knight c4 stuff. Uh, let's see. Because his idea is technically, I guess, knight to d5, and then, I don't know what. Because he can move the rook. Maybe I'll play g3, and then king g2, and then rook a3. Mm, yeah, let's play g3, I think it shouldn't hurt. And then king to g2, of course. Okay, this, rook a3, and then b3. If rook c5, I move, and this, I do this. Yeah, so let's do that. It shouldn't hurt, I think. Okay, this. Interesting. I think I can technically, like... I'm not sure. Yeah, I just can edge his knight a bit with bishop d6. He has rook d4, though. But then I have bishop c7, and then he has knight c5, and then better. Uh, yeah, let's go bishop d6. I think I shouldn't plunder my bishop there. Bishop d6. e5. Alright, then b3, I think. If rook d4, I go bishop c7. So in b3, this I just take. I think he'll take. Yeah, he does. And it's really equal position. 
Um, if I want to win, I guess I need to like try to get his knight for my bishop and try to get his weak exploit his weaknesses. It will be hard to do though. Uh, let's see, rook d3, I guess, is the move. Let's see, he'll probably play knight. Okay, plays rook d4. Well, I don't want to trade your rook and create your, so you a passer, so I'll play rook e3. This, uh huh. Bishop to b2. g4. Okay, I think I'm going to take and then play bishop c3. Yeah, and then f3, and it will be a draw. Yeah, f3, get f3. Okay. F takes G probably, and then Bishop to E5, and then Rook C2 I go King G1, and then Knight E5 will trade, and yeah, basically we'll just have Rooks left on the board, hopefully he won't take my G3 pawn, hopefully he doesn't see it hanging, and he doesn't, but he also puts me in a really hard position to break through, to move forward, so it's a really sneaky guy, let's say, because, I mean, even if he does, like, let your pawn live, it doesn't make it live a happy life. You cannot push your pawn. So, you know, okay, can f1? I just want to play him. I want, me, me, I want to make him play. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Well, it's all right for him, anyways. I think I play like rook f3, maybe with the idea of rook f2. It doesn't do anything, but whatever. Uh, just try it, doesn't hurt. Okay, rook e3, yeah, open to him to play rook g2. And I'll have g4, and if he takes, I'm winning. And if he goes like in h2, I have rook e2. So that would have been really nice if he played, but he doesn't, and he's like kind of trolling me, I have a feeling. <laughs> uh, I mean, rook up to it would be a draw, so let's play rook e3. Please play rook g2. No, he doesn't. He puts his skin back to g4, so he'll make another move, a lot of moves again. Uh, let's play rook three. Let's not hang my rook. He almost got me. Rook b three. Can you let my king advance, please? Nope. Okay, can you? Yeah, rook h three. It won't hurt you. Come on! It won't hurt you. <laughs> it doesn't want to. Ah, whatever. Yeah, it's a draw. Yeah, he gave me this hope with my g three pawn. Then he crushed my dreams of pushing it just to put this huge block on g4. I don't know, play kin it. Nah, kin h1 is it's, it's literally like self-made. Oh, 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 rook g2, rook g2, rook g2, ooh, ooh, why don't you want to play rook g2 now? <laughs> I have nothing prepared for rook g2. Just trust me, we played so many games. It doesn't even trust me. This is pairing partner. Blue rook g2, come on! Uh, rook g2! Just let me move. Okay, rook f2. I play rook a1. I play rook a3. Such a nasty guy. And then probably will, won't take this point. No, he does. Okay. And let me check him. Let's not blunder 18 1. <laughs> Let's be careful. And then check. And then I'll try to win, just as we saw before the live open end game, trying to win King and Rook versus King and Rook. So entertaining! Yay! It's what you always wanted, the biggest content of the stream. <laughs> okay, here, can you just offer me a trade, like Rook G5, Rook G3? Yes, thank you. Okay, the content is over. No, he doesn't! He doesn't want to... Yeah, you see? He, he, the Komodo cares about you so much. He doesn't want the content to be over. He wants it to be happy. And watch how we are out grinding the... Like, the drawest endgame of them all. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, here. Come on. I'm I'm actually trying to mate him, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm already somewhat close. His skin is near the edge of the board. Just one more. Don't you know? He, he checked me. He broke my dreams <laughs> of trying to mate him. Come on, come on, rookie six. Wow, so he's actually volunteering to go <laughs> to the A file. Wow. So he did, really does want to blunt the mate, as it seems. <laughs> okay, rookie six. He doesn't want to blunt mate. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It doesn't want... Oh, can A5? Nope. Yeah, 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 rook H5. Why did I show rook G4? I can I cannot offer a draw. Well, I'm over grinding sand game. You're really lucky that you joined the stream just now. Because it's so fun. It's yeah, it's perpetual. GG's finally. <laughs> finally this was over. This is over. <laughs> ah I thought I got something, but he had everything under the control as well as I did, but I wanted to win but I didn't manage to. But okay, it was fun. <laughs> it was pretty fun, I think. Hmm. Maybe I was better before the end game. I'm not sure. Let's see. The computer evaluation. So. Okay, it's been like. The Whoa, that must be like the cleanest game we've played on all time. 99 accuracy for me and 99.1 for him that's beautiful like the most cleanest game ever Woo! i actually made a brilliancy let's go so 99 actually one brilliant move for me zero for him zero great move for me well i didn't find any great moves but i found a brilliancy and one for him 89 best move for me and 85 for him 7 excellent move for me, 10 for him, 2 good move for me, 3 for him, 7 book move for me, 6 for him, 1, just 1 in X and 1 mistake for each of us, that's so perfect game, and 0 blunders and 0 miswins for each of us, let's get into analyzing, that was so nice, 99, wow, so I was, I had a little edge, uh, I had, uh, okay, I had to play rook ac1 with the idea of probably putting pressure on c5 bishop, and I thought it was a brilliant, wow, I just didn't know it was so brilliant, it's so logical. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a brilliant, but I found a brilliancy. And then rook d6. You're allowed to the open to fork the pieces. Uh, I guess not. yeah, and it's c4, right? Probably like rook to d3. Pro I don't know. Maybe rook to b4. Oh what? Okay, yeah. And then that's probably all. He has this and rook before. I found a brilliant set and nine accuracy. Let's go! And he also had 99 dot one accuracy. It's like the most perfect game we've played ever, probably. Wow. And then don't watch this. It was just pure trolling from him. I tried to get him, but he didn't want to get him. He didn't want me to get him. And we played this for like a year long. And then I gave him my pawn. And then he didn't want to trade the rooks. And we just played this for another year and a half. Here you even offered somewhere a rook trade, but he denied I offered it and he denied it. Then I tried to make him, but he also denied it. <laughs> so when I made all the mistakes, plus... Summary. So there was no plus. It was like the perfect game. Even when I miss, mix, uh, made the mistake and he actually corrected, no plus. There was so perfect game. Nice. So... I'm going to end the stream, you see, we played some 96, 90.7, but that was so perfect, it was beautiful, wow, nice, so I'm going to end the stream, hope you enjoyed it, <coughs> whoopsie, sorry, uh, so I'll end the stream, if you enjoyed it, then please don't come to you, there are 162 members, it was 163, so now I cannot say it's 37 more members, I need to say 38 more members, and I'm going to make 200 members, so if you enjoyed it, we'll help you, and also please remember, please remember to share the picture club teams, there are, how much? 1094 members, nice, just 6 more members guys, and I'm going to make a tournament 1000 women members, so feel free to join, we'll be happy, and thank you for following on chess, on YouTube, and on Twitch, and as usual, please like button, and subscribe to me, and please consider blue channel chess, love com. and also please put this link in the description, yeah, bye bye, guys, see you soon, see you tomorrow, stay cool!